Hey, what's up, guys? I have a battle here against Steinlord555, who is a Twitch streamer, so go ahead and check him out. I'll leave the link to his channel in the description um, if you are so inclined to want to uh, view his stuff, which you probably should. Just throwing it out there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started uh, without further delay. Uh, yeah, this is a standard match, and uh, he's going to lead with Arcanine, as I, um, I'm i actually trying to use some Pokemon that people have suggested for me. One of them was Heliowisk, and uh, you might recall that, uh, you know, back in uh, a couple battles ago, I asked for some Pokemon suggestions, so yeah, that's what I am doing now. So I don't want to take the fire move, so I go out into my Starmie, my uh, bulky Starmie, and uh, I do that because I predict the Flare Blitz. But then he crits me, so that's not fantastic, and I'm like, okay, this is Bulky Starmie, maybe I can live in extreme speed at this point. Not really sure, but I'm going to go for it and try to recover. And then, uh, well, he's going to crit me with extreme speed, too. So, so much for Bulky Starmie. Uh, two crits right off the bat, takes it out, and um, yeah, I'm kind of sad. So I go into my uh, ripe here, another Pokemon that people wanted to see, and uh, yeah, this is my... Um, the right Rhyperior, so to speak. This is there's a uh, Rock Polish Rhyperior, something I used a lot in Gen 4, and uh, mistakenly used a different set uh, in Gen 4 a lot, too. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go for that, um, and uh, go for a Megahorn, because he goes out into his Flygon. This is the only move I have to hit Flygon, even uh, neutrally, so that's what I do. And uh, yeah, he's going to go for the Earthquake. I knew I probably wouldn't kill him, and um, I'm hoping that I can live due to Solid Rock, and I do. So I'm going to go ahead and get that to a KO with Megahorn. Now, I am left in red HP, but uh, due to my resistance to extreme speed, I'm kind of thinking that he probably won't go into Arcanine, at least I'm hoping. At least I'm hoping I might live if he does. But he just goes into Starmie, so that's fantastic. And I just go for a Megahorn and take this thing out, which is, uh, yeah, pretty dang fantastic. Uh, Rock Polish doing work. Now, I am now down to 6 HP, so if he wanted to, he could definitely come in with Arcanine and kill me. But he makes a big misplay. I guess I'm um, kind of derping in the process. He uh, actually said right afterwards, oops. Um, so, yeah, not a great play, because, yeah, he's gonna go into this Tyranitar, which is not living an Earthquake, spoiler alert, hate to break it to you, not happening, and, uh, yeah, it's dead, and I will lose my Rhyperior here, but he really did not need to lose Tyranitar here, because he did have that Arcanine, which could have, uh, killed him with extreme speed, definitely, so, kind of a misplay there, but, uh, what can you do? Definitely a misplay, but let's see how the rest of the battle turns out. I, uh, go into my Skarmory again. Uh, well, actually, I think for the first time, as he uh, goes into Arc uh, Arcanine, which is obviously not the matchup I wanted. So I am going to go out into Dragonite, expecting another Flare Blitz. I do have Multi-Scale, not to mention the Resistance, so I know I'm not really going to be taking that much to it. And um, after the uh, residual da or the uh, extra damage, this guy's going to tank this Arcanine. He's going to take damage due to his uh, recoil, due to uh, Life Orb and the uh, Sandstorm. I'm pretty confident that I can actually take this thing out with my own Extreme Speed. He can't kick me out with one of his, and I am going to go for the Extreme Speed, that, taking out his puppy, a.k.a. Arcanine, and uh, that's pretty cool. Now he is going to go into Tokius now, which is a fairy type, which is kind of the bane of dragons starting in the sixth generation of Pokemon. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch out because I do not want to take a fairy move. So I go into my Skarmory, hoping to resist, and he does go for the Dazzling Gleam, which I am going to resist and take pretty nicely. Uh, not extremely nicely, I guess, because Skarmory is not known for its special defense as much as its regular defense. But uh, what can you do? Anyway, we're both going to munch on leftovers for a little minute. And, uh, yeah, then we're going to get on with the battle. I uh, believe I just go for a Stealth Rock, which, looking back on it, probably wasn't the greatest play. He only had two Pokemon left. I mean, granted, he is going to switch out in his Tang, uh, tang Growth here, so I'm going to be able to get, I guess, 25% on to his Tang... Uh, sorry, Togekiss once it comes back in, but whatever. This is actually not a bad matchup for me. I know, obviously, Tang Growth is physically defensive and um, obviously will take my Brave Bird pretty nicely, but it's still a Brave Bird. It's a super powerful, it's stabbed, and super effective. I'm hoping to do a little about half, and wow, that Tang Growth actually takes it Better than I thought it would, honestly. Uh, a lot, a lot better. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of fantastic, I guess. But, uh, oh well, I'm going to go ahead and go for another one anyway, as uh, he, uh, I believe he knocks off my leftovers, and now he's actually going to put me to sleep, which he probably should have done in the reverse order, but what can you do? And, uh, yeah, now my uh, Skarmory is asleep, so i just going to go ahead and switch it out. I go into my Gardevoir, a Pokemon that some people have been requesting, and um, this is my Mega Gardevoir, so I'm just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve, hopefully, and take this thing out. Mega Gardevoir obviously does have a massive special attack stat, so I'm hoping to be able to take this out. Um, which, uh, Tangrowth does not have a great special bulk, unlike its physical bulk, so pretty confident. He's just going to go for the uh, Giga Trainer on the Switch, which gets him a little bit of health back, but not too much. So I'm able to uh, 
should be able to go ahead and Mega Evolve here and just go for the Hyper Voice to take this thing out, so that's what I do. And uh, yeah, it is going to be able to take out the Tank Growth at this point. So, I feel like I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but yeah, the Swamp is destroyed. Nature activists everywhere will probably be mad at the Killer Nacho for years. Oh well, in comes Graceland, the Togekiss, and I am going to go ahead and switch right back into my Skarmori. Uh, unfortunately, it is at a pretty low point at this point, so he is actually going to be able to kill me before I'm able to wake up, but that's okay. I can go into my Heliwistic again, which uh, I showed off in the beginning, a Pokemon that, uh, another Pokemon that people wanted to see, and um, obviously I am going to be able to take the thing out. So let me go into today's uh, announcement. There is an announcement. Yes, indeed. An announcement this video, and I probably will make an official announcement video later, but um, I also want to announce it here first. Uh, so, you guys might remember my last showdown tournament. It happened when I reached 1,000 uh, followers. Now I've reached 1,500, and as promised, there will be a Twitch um, a Twitch tournament. And I hope that all of you will be there uh, because I reached 1,500. And uh, the format, I, mean, I always try to make interesting new formats. It's going to be spe no, not species claws. It's going to be number claws. Pokedex number claws. And basically the idea is every Pokemon on your team, the last digit of that Pokemon must be the same. Now to make things easier, a lot of my fans, or a few of my fans on Twitch, made a Google Doc, which I will link in the description, um, for this format so you can quickly see what Pokemon are what number. So basically, for example, um, let's say you should pick six. All your Pokemon have to have six at their last digit in the Pokedex. Uh, so that is the format. It should be pretty interesting. The date will be at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard. Wait, Eastern Standard? Or maybe Eastern Daylight Savings Time still. What? Eastern Time. Eastern United States Time on uh, September 24th. So you have a bit of time to come up with something. And, um, yeah, I guess today's question of the day is... Are you interested in uh, joining? We will, you know, try to make as many things as possible. You know what? Let's. I'm also going to link the uh, the Twitch replay of my last tournament in the description if I can. Um, if it's not there right away, double check later in the day. I'll try to add it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun last time. It really was, and I uh, hope to see even more people around next time. I guess today's question of the day is: uh, if you want to glance over at the list people made. Which number jumps out at you as to be the best? What is going to be the top ta tier number in the Pokebot Pokedex number tournament? Yeah, I need to come up with a better name for that. But uh, yeah, that you know, this is the official announcement, I guess. If you're interested in uh, playing, all you need to do is make a team on Pokemon Showdown. It's free to use and all that. You don't need uh, even a Pokemon game. Make a team, make sure it follows the rules. Uh, keep in mind that standard smoking clauses will apply, so no Ubers. And uh, we're going to be playing by all standard smoking clauses, aside from the fact that uh, the additional restriction that all your Pokemon need to have the same last ditch of Pokedex number. So, uh, yeah, if anyone needs that explained better, just let me know and I'll, I'll try to explain it better. But, uh, yeah, this has already ran way over after the battle. Don't worry, there will be an official announcement video at some point, probably soon. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and take care. Later.